KFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. And currently, have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. It's a sea of red out there. Not so with regard to the sectors inside the S&P 500. The healthcare sector and the financials are both to the upside. And the utility sector is up 51 cents. Dow's off 81 uh, bucks. About a quarter of a percent. S&P the same. That's about eight points, nine points. NASDAQ, 44 points, three tenths. Quarter percent for the Russell. That's five points. The semis are off 33, a little over one percent there. Gold is off uh, 14 bucks. Silver's up 12 cents. Light to recruit is off a buck 10. Natural gas is off 13 pennies. The 30-year Treasury printed out at 129.10. That is off 23 ticks. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart in the upper left-hand corner, we've got the ES Mini. The ES Mini is attempting to form a new profile. Now, yesterday, price did close above 41.77. It closed at 41.80. That negated its sell the D point pattern. So there's no longer a topping pattern inside the ES Mini. Is there support and resistance? Absolutely. Will we have confirmation of this? Before 6 o'clock tonight, we will not. But right now, you do know that buyers are set up at 4118 and sellers reside at 4188. That's a valuable piece of information. Price should be able to make its way up to those sellers at the 4188 level. We have the spot volatilics, which is trading below yesterday's low. That's a bearish message for that, and that would be a positive message for the S&P 500. The NQ still trades above the top of its daily profile. It needs a bearish reversal candle to confirm a road's momentum indicator top. Short of that, price should target 13,996. U.S. dollar index is consolidating with inside its daily profile right now. Price has found resistance really three out of the last three days up at the top of that profile 101.88. You know, I know that is a very key level of resistance that if price moves above, we probably then see gold bust through support, which is down in 1974. So at the same time, the U.S. dollar index was testing resistance. You had gold testing support, which is between 1974 and 1982. Silver net ever made its way down to support for it. That would have to be the top of its profile at 24.50. 59, 24, 24, 45. Lightspeed Crude is uh, tested basically the bottom of its daily profile at 7802. So just a little bit of a consolidation there. Resistance 8337, the top of the weekly profile. Support will go with 7802, the bottom of the daily profile. Natural gas pulling back today, but all it's done is tested support. That's what you want to see it do. That support level is down at the $2.35 level. We've got A to B equals CD to the downside in the 30-year Treasury. So watch for a bullish reversal candle. Short of that, we should see price continue to head lower. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Zed Show. If you're off to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. Be safe out there, and thanks so much for joining us.